You can even use this beautiful Louis Vuitton pencil case to hold your Valentine's Day candy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's good to see you again. Today, I am going to bring you my review and how I use the Louis Vuitton Elizabeth pencil case. First, I am gonna go over some of the details of this pencil case. It is beautiful. This pencil case is from the 2021 Christmas Animation Collection, which came out at the end of September of 2021. And let's just get in and look at some of the details that you can see. It is very detailed. You can see little padlocks on the railing. You can see the logo fleur right here on the on the um, on the pavement, and it just continues. It's really a stunning piece. Vivian is here. She's holding a little Christmas gift. There is a double-decker bus with an LV on the side. There's a corgi dog. There is a phone box. At the top of the phone box, it says Louis Vuitton. There are little designs inside of this fence. It's really detailed. This says V Heart G. That's uh, Vivian, and I think his name is Gaston. And there's also a clock tower, Big Ben, right there, as well as some snowflakes, all with a backdrop of the monogram canvas. On the other side is red calfskin leather. It says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in Spain. On the bottom of the pencil case, we have natural vaquetta leather, which right now is very light, but over time it will patina to a more golden leather color. There is gold hardware. The zipper pull shows the LV logo inside of a circle. And when you open the case, there is a red microfiber lining. Let's set that down. This pencil case was made in Spain in October of 21, according to the date code, which if you look and see, Right there, I'm gonna to try to get this to focus. There we go. The dimensions are eight and a half inches long. It is two and a quarter inches tall. And the base is about two and an eighth inch this way. So it has a trapezoid shape to it. So what I'm gonna show you today is everything you can use this for. It's not just for pens and pencils. So first, we'll start with a more traditional way to use this case. For example, we've got eight lovely Ticonderoga pencils right here. None of these have been sharpened, so they are at their longest length. They do fit inside the case. Once they're sharpened, I would use a guard on this pencil. Not only does it protect the inside of your pencil case, but it also protects the sharp point of your pencil so it does not break off. You also might wish to use your pencil case for a whole bunch of wonderful 
mild liner markers. This is a double tipped marker. It's got a chisel tip on one end and a finer pointed tip on this end. Both ends are securely capped. These all fit right inside of this pencil case. Maybe you have a selection of pens of different sizes and different types. These will of course all fit inside. Of course, I would make sure to never ever place one of these pens inside my pencil case if it was clicked open. Very important. They all go in there. You could even put an eraser. This is a really nice eraser. You can go in there and you are ready to go. Some people might wonder, Jane, do you ever put your fancy fountain pens inside of your Louis Vuitton Elizabeth pencil case? The answer is no, I don't. The reason is fountain pens can be very expensive. They are very well made. They can be rather delicate and you must be very careful with them. Also, if you use a less expensive fountain pen, maybe a cheaper one that costs you five or $10, there is a much higher probability that these pens will leak. These pens will not leak, but I still won't keep them inside this pencil case. The reason is that this pen should not be hitting against other objects because the case could get damaged, could get scratched, it just won't be as nice. So you may be wondering, well then where do you put your fountain pen? For fountain pens, I use a special case made just for fine writing instruments. This one's by Pinator. Right now it's available online for as low as $64. It's made of leather. It opens with a magnetic closure. It has a velvet-like interior and two chambers inside to hold two pens to make sure they are never touching each other. They fit right inside. Now you can take your fountain pens with you without worrying about them spilling anywhere, touching anything, or otherwise getting damaged in any way. So that's how I carry my fountain pens. Maybe you're wondering, Jane, I don't really need a fancy pencil case. What am I gonna do with that? I just carry around a couple pens with me, if even that. Maybe sometimes you don't even carry a pen at all. But guess what? This isn't just a pencil case. You can keep so many different things inside of this case. Let's see what we've got. Maybe like me, you like to collect cute washi tape. Well, it all goes in there and zips right up. You can also store hair accessories. Like for example, all these scrunchies. So many, I, I have a lot of scrunchies. They all go in there. Do you think I'll be able to zip it up with all of these scrunchies? Let's take one out there. That's kind of a lot, but yes, you could put scrunchies inside or other hair accessories like barrettes, bobby pins, uh, softer headbands. Some people use this case for cosmetics. It works great for that. I'm going to fill it up with lip products, which are all securely closed. We've got a lipstick by Estee Lauder, Dior Lip Glow, another Dior Lip Glow, a mini lipstick or lip balm from Fresh, a lip gloss product from Givenchy, a tube of Juicy Tubes from Lancome, and I can even fit another um, fresh lip balm. Or maybe I'll put in this too. This is a Sephora lip gloss product. You'll be able to close it. Actually, I'm gonna take that out. I think this will work great. 
That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lip products. And they're all inside. As for other cosmetics, I would be very, very careful, especially with things like makeup brushes. Obviously those are usually quite filthy. Unless they have an individual case just for them, I would not put them into this particular case. It does not have a wipeable interior. So let's see what else we can put in here. We could put a whole bunch of skincare samples. I have a whole ton of these. They go right in there. Maybe you're traveling and you just, your skincare is uh, in this particular format and you can take it with you. You could even use this case for jewelry. Put those in there, put that in there. There you go. This case holds everything, even Legos. Last but not least, you can even use this beautiful Louis Vuitton pencil case to hold your Valentine's Day candy. It's perfect. So I know that seemed a little silly, but I just want people to think outside the box. This case isn't just for writing instruments. It isn't just for pencils. It isn't just for stationary supplies. It's for anything that fits. And so hopefully that will help you if you are trying to decide on whether you want to own a very fancy pencil case, but think that, well, I'm not going to use it for pencils. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.